Yeah, the drums were just lying in. They're done. Don't worry about it. So I've got my drums loaded up on the tape. I've got four tracks on there. And that's going to go out into the mixer. And I've also got my guitar going into the mixer at the same time, running into a chorus pedal and then into a split box so I can split one channel into two stereo channels and do slight different EQ and effects on both channels and pan them just so I've got some panning on the guitars and yeah so can I have the guitars done whoopee Figure out how to do distortion on the next track. So, for distortion on this track, I'm going to use a little battery powered amp that goes into dist. Hell yeah. What about dist tone? <laughs> oh god, this is going to sound bad. That was one of the best things to ever happen to Dragon Ball, and it gave us awesome new characters and a. I feel like the guitars might have been a bit too loud. Let's listen back. Yeah, so anyway, I played guitar and I did the songs and yeah, that's it. Cool. I fucked up a few times, but that's okay. I, I don't care. I, I fucking, I really don't care. Like, I, it's okay. I don't care. I do care. So, guitars are done. I fucking hate filming my face. Okay, so guitars are done. Yeah, wait. I can take myself seriously. I can do this. Okay, so guitars are done. Oh my god. Okay, so guitars are done. And I'm gonna take some time to um, listen to them, so I'm not gonna record the bass right now. But I'll go through the signal chain with the bass. Um, okay, so what I've done is the opposite of what I did before. So I recorded from this into the mixer, into this. And now everything that I've recorded, the guitars and drums, I'm gonna go back through into here and then back out into the tape player. So, yep, that's what I'm doing. And for the, this is just for bass, so I probably won't use this because it sucks and it'll probably cut off all the low end. Um, but I'm going to use a little bit of chorus on the bass just because that's an old, uh, it's an old trick. It's like very subtle. You just want a bit of movement and that'll just be mono so I don't need to like do anything with the radial. But I think that'll help. Because uh, the drums are in stereo, the guitars are panned, they're in faux stereo, and this is going to be centered. And the vocals will probably be, uh, like, they'll be centered with stereo effects, because I've got um, this guy over here, which is pretty cool. It's got all sorts of stuff. I'll probably use the stuff. Woo! I fucking don't know what the hell I'm doing. About do 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 Bass compressor. So I was like, oh fuck, I don't have a compressor, and I didn't want to use the quad comp because it's a pain in the ass. Um. Oh my god. Anyway. So this has a line in, so I'm gonna use the compressor for this, and like maybe even some mild EQ if I need it. Definitely not reverb though, you don't need reverb on a bass guitar, that's fucking so dumb. I just realised I had a video on in the background. Uh, Johnny something! Yeah! Doing some talking! Woo! Alright, uh, I'm gonna go through some of the workflow, I figured. I should probably film some of that. Fucking yeah! Of, of course you should record some of that. So the first thing that you wanna do is tune. 
but you always want to tune because if you don't tune um, bad things will happen It's annoying. So you want a, well I want a soft pick, not a too soft, but just a bit soft. I literally just fucking bought it. reverb on a bass guitar, that's fucking so dumb. So, I don't want the, uh, the low end of the bass to kill the kick drum. I want it to be present, but more in like a mid-range kind of way. This is the 80s, just, just remember that. Okay, I gotta practice this song a few times because I've never played it on bass before and I'm kind of just winging it right now. I might put the bass in E flat because then the whole thing makes more sense to me. 
Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. I've always had this. Ah, oh, but I don't know. Maybe this bass will sound fine. Let's see. Give it a go in E flat. Crunches up, motherfucker! Woo! Okay, so what I can tell from that last take is the bass is too fucking loud. See, that's too loud. I like it. Let's have a look at the final bass. Okay, you can shut up. I just did a scratch track to get the levels right. So, got a little bit of compression. I've literally gone through this already, so I'm, I'm just going to skip it. Okay. And then it's recording onto the tape, which is exciting. And this is a scratch track I just did. Fringy fucking bass solos, hell yeah. So I'm just gonna go through, I've done listening and everything, so now I'm just gonna dick around on the bass a bit and just kind of finalize some parts. So I know that I want. Second verse starts on. I think, okay, so in the second part of the second verse, but your world, but your world experience and twist is mine, stag mates. I might do like a. I want to do a pentatonic thing here, but I want it to be a very specific pentatonic. Yeah, that's the one. Damn, damn it, I must be blind. Damn it, I must be blind. Damn right. So that's the vocal line. Okay. Why the fuck would I ever use the lower strings on this song? I think it's more of an upbeat. I want it to sound like it's too fast. Like... You know how you hear like, uh, I don't know, new wave stuff and it's like the bass is like t constantly toitering the line almost where a guitar should be, like in terms of like its harmonic presence and its note choices, but it's like just, you know what?
Now I gotta tune the fucking bass again. The intonation's out on this bass, so. Hell yeah, it's just like the 80s. All my favorite albums have poor intonation. For example, um, I don't know, maybe something will pop up on the screen soon. For example, this one. Uh, I'm gonna do a pass, and I'm gonna see if it sounds good. Final day of recording. Um, it's fucking rainy as hell outside, and I'm gonna make a coffee. Step one, apply coffee. And you gotta make sure that, um, the coffee is, I don't know, I'm trying to think of, it's early in the morning, I don't have jokes. Step two, heat up your water. Is it hot yet? Ah, it is hot yet. Step three. Do the little barista twist. You know, I learnt that in my uh, two days of baristering at a cafe. Um, and there's my coffee. Step four. Twist it. There we go. That's perfect. Step five, clean up the mess, because I'm not that much of an animal. Step five, watch. Dangerous. With um, Karpika's struck being, guy talk well, about Hunter Hunter. getting all the powers, I guess? Yeah, all the powers, as long as he has the scarlet eyes and sticks to the rules of the chains that he... Okay, I think I've done it. I've made the album art. Ready? One, two, three... Ooh. Yeah, so it's like a 1970s type thing. The photo was taken by, um, Joshua Nash, uh, Pink Narcosis. Uh, their fucking photography is amazing. Um, yeah, so, I, that's the photo, and then I did the black bar, and then that that and the little stereo and also analog analog digital because that is what it is and I'm pretty happy with that I think it looks cool I, I really like it guess what this is yeah I was practicing and the strang broke I think I have one laying around somewhere, but that fucking sucks. It, uh, broke at the, uh, where's the, uh, camera? Give me the camera. Here we go. Yeah, it broke at the, um, this part, the start of the bridge. Lots of fun. Having fun. Found a string, but it's from a short scale, so let's see what happens. Okay, <laughs> I got it. It's good. I wrapped it around only one single pole. So, that will hold it. Also, this one string sounds so much better than the rest. Instrumentals done.
Hey, I'm gonna record some vocals, but first, I'm gonna do a poo. Mm-hmm. Got my vocal chain, I got the vocals going into the machine, and then out of the machine into stereo, and then I click that on, and that's gonna give me some double tracks. And here's my microphone, which is a Sennheiser something or other. Yeah. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Yeah, that's a song. <clears throat> anyway, that's it. It's done. That was it. Yep, that. Anticipation of a word, could you please spare? I'm lying on a bed of nails, starting from detail Because I'm still living in yesterday and I'm scared But everything you said, you know I was so prepared Cause I feel much better in some of the lifestyle Are you feeling alright? Good night The hard thing is like hitting this fucking little clicky madu. Right. Fucking up the synth line. Damn right. Well, it's not so difficult to follow you to a train. Other than I'll be feeling great. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it again. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep it. You saw it first here on LMI TV. Oh my god. So, it looks like I'm done. I'm rewinding the whole EP to the start, and then I'm gonna record that into the computer. That was just my monitoring, but I'm going to put that into there, and then I'm going to master it digitally, <laughs> and then that's going to go up on the internet, so, uh, here it comes. Boom, bam, wham, jam.